you know, every year around this time, we also look forward to seeing all those sunflowers in the fields along Highway 84. You know what I'm talking about. But this year, not a sunflower in sight over there. But that was by design. And KMAX Laura Lawhead asked that farmer about this year's change. Yeah, Brian, for many, the sunflowers along the Slayton Highway have become a South Plains staple, and people come from all over to see them and take pictures with them every year. So naturally, some people might be disappointed. The farmer of that area has been planting the sunflowers for the last 25 to 30 years, and it's the first time in a long time he hasn't planted them. But what sprouted in their place is even better for West Texas. In a typical year, it's hard to miss that sea of yellow in the sweet spot between Lubbock and Slayton. I love sunflowers. <laughs> and who doesn't? Thousands, from families to brides to college grads and even myself, have stopped and pulled over for a quick photo. It's hard to be depressed when you pass by a sunflower field in full bloom. It just boom! It just, it just almost overwhelms the eyes and the mind. And people forget about their depression. They go, wow, look at that. <laughs> you know? But now you'll find the fields a little different. This year, cotton is king. We got a lot of money in this crop, and so we had to let price determine what we planted. Farmer Dale Kitchens takes care of that land. He says this year is a comeback for the cash crop after major setbacks by record droughts and the pandemic. Sunflowers are often used as what's called a catch crop planted on fields where previous crops have failed. Kitchens hopes the ringing of the cash register from all this cotton might help ease the disappointment. It'll mean several billion dollars of fresh money pumped into the uh, West Texas economy. But he also offers a promise to the fans of the South Plains staple. They'll be back. <laughs> And while I was out there, we actually saw some people taking pictures in that cotton. Kitchens plans to harvest the cotton in the next week, depending on the weather. And he says he's really excited about their yield. But he does hope the sunflowers can be back next year.